to. Banggood has sent me this baby semi for review. Turbo Racing C50 176 scale semi. Semi. But I've also got this beauty. Uh, that's gonna be for a later video, but everybody knows it's really cool. We'll do that one soon. So cool. I can't wait to get into this thing, but I'm just gonna put you over here with your dad. But let's dive into this now. Like, look at that. It's sick. I got this one. I got this one. 176 RTR. Like, look at all the things on here. Cool simulation truck lights. Nine channel control. What? Ooh, simulated horn. 150 milliamp lithium ion. Four wheel drive. Tractor and trailer can be independently controlled. That sounds complicated for my brain. Portional steering. Multiple speeds. USB type C charging port. Great. An entire plethora. You told me I have a plethora and I just would like to know if you know what a plethora is of like really cool features for a small truck what but enough jibba jabba let's do it oh cool a little parts kit for the trailer Ooh, yeah black and red sweet and an instruction manual that I am definitely gonna have to read oh my god look at all the functions what? <laughs> A little bit of advertising. Oh, I recognize you. Oh, and some drift ones too. These look cool. How to build. Okay, I better read that too. I like that. Do this, do that, then this, then that. Sure, that's... They all look the same. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Sick. That is so cool. It's so tiny. That's what she said. There's a little steering wheel. There's a little driver in there. That's amazing. And this, this is like, this is organized chaos right here. Look at all the switches and stuff. The 3M sticky pads. This looks like a weight. It looks like we got little stickers for the mirrors too. USB-C to USB-C. Nice USB-C to USB 3.0 maybe charger. Ooh, look and a little body clip. And there's the trailer. That is some detail. Wow, it's so small. I can barely focus the camera on it. That's what she said. <laughs> so this has a USB-C charger on it too, so there must be a battery inside here. Yeah, like this lights up independently. Okay, let's build this beauty. Whoa, that's so small. Really well detailed too. Oh my god, look at that battery. It's like as small as my fingernail. Yoink. Now oh, we got all these bits, we're gonna take them, slam them together. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah! Yeah! That was a pain in the neck to put together because I did it backward. But it's got little doors and it's cool. I like that. It's fun. Now they say to put this other piece on here to lock it down, but I want to be able to use this trailer for other stuff too. So we'll see if it fits in here nice and snug like. In your hole. Are you too good for your hole? Yeah, that fits in there pretty good without the tape. That's adorable. Ah, I see what these other bits are for. Look, you can put little sides on. Neat. Batteries, it takes four double, oh, four double A's, but, oh, JST connector. Yeah, put a LiPo in there. This is actually really well featured, crazy options, and it feels pretty good. I guess it's on. There's no light telling me it's on, so, are you on? Hello? Are you on? Okay, after a bunch of rounds of batteries, what I figured out was that this, for some reason, the batteries were in there so snug, it wasn't making connection. The connection was gapped like that. So I had to like move the batteries to touch. Just word to the wise. Everything's on. Oh. Whoa. Okay, look, man, it does a million things. I don't know what to do first. Oh my God. That, oh, you've got to see this. Look at that proportional steering. That's so cool. It's so smooth. Oh, what? Yeah. That is amazing. Oh. Yeah. My driver's license. Yes. Let me back her up. Oh, this is going to take some driving prowess. Ah! This is not what I'm used to. This thing is insane. A headlight switch. Oh! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> oh, there's even cockpit lights! I just want to go through the light clicks. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Now wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> Horn two, awesome. How they've got this much detail in such a small rig is just incredible. What is going on? That is so cool. This one on this side controls the volume. That's awesome. You can even change the headlight colors too. That's, this is too much. Tail light switch, sweet. That is impressive. Oh my God. So if I turn, oh, the signal lights work on the trailer and the truck. This. This just gets better and better and better and better. <laughs> that is so cool! So if you go down on your left and down on your right, it turns on the signal lights without having to use the toggle. And it works on the trailer too. Oh, it's even got reverse lights! Oh, oh, oh. Ah, nope. Nope. Am I in there? Yeah, I think I got it. And... Yeah! Woo! Slow speed, which is good for me because this is really, really challenging to drive. And then it's got high speed. Yeah, 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 yeah! This is really, really challenging. Got good turning radius, though. Oh, 47 point turn. Oh! <laughs> oh, I can't. It's so hard. Super challenging to learn. Like, so many configurations and buttons. This thing is really complex for a small machine. I'm just honestly amazed at what they've been able to jam in such a tiny package. Banana for scale. Okay, but I want to see how much weight this thing can actually haul. So we got ourselves a Surpass Hobby 4076 2000 kV motor and a Google RC which is a Surpass can and that's a 3670 2850 kV motor. You fit nicely in there sir. Maybe you will fit in the back. <laughs> that's a lot of weight. Can it haul the heavy load? Yes. Yes it can. I didn't charge up the batteries so... It's doing it, but man, it's tired. <laughs> that's a lot of weight. That's impressive. And that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight that that thing holds. A lot of intricacies on how to drive this thing straight. It's really cool, but challenging. I definitely need to practice. This thing is something else to drive. If you're looking for a fun, challenging micro semi, this is it. Babe, you gotta check out this semi! It's amazing!